All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites, coming day in and day out. The prophesied downfall of Babylon the Great. First off and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, double honors to thee, O the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai. Um, and I'm going uh, to jump straight into it. Just a response to Elder Apostles, uh, Tahar's video, uh, and just dealing with scriptures concerning Edom, right? Uh, to like vocab and you other fucking Jesus juice drinking motherfuckers, all right? When did these prophecies take pay, uh, place? Pinpoint them and give us the time period when these certain things happen, man. Concerning Edom, since everybody believes that Edom is, uh, Edom is done away with. And more importantly, like the Elder Malcolm went into, for you to say that, you would have to admit that the Northern Kingdom and the Southern Kingdom came back together, according to Obadiah, uh, Obadiah uh, the first chapter, all right? Uh, you, you would have to admit that the Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom came together to destroy Esau. When did that happen? Can't use the Maccabees, all right? Because the, uh, the, only the Southern Kingdom was around uh, during that time. All right. So yeah, that throws a wrench in your whole breakdown, man. All right. But nevertheless, I'm going to get straight into these script, uh, scriptures. Uh, Psalms 137 and 7. All right. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, race it, race it. All right. So the children of Edom said, destroy it, destroy it. When they see it, uh, seen it's getting destroyed. All right. Uh, to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, now once again, Edom and Babylon is synonymous, man, all right, who art to be destroyed, all right, happy is he, happy shall he be that ward of thee as that I served us, now if we know Edom, I mean, because these guys, first of all, these guys don't believe Edom's the so-called white man, but whatever, um, uh, Edom put us in slavery, so-called white people, man, it's lock you. Puerto Rican Muslim had damn near interrupted my video. But I'm going to hop straight into it. Um, so, um, even back to like your camera issue. Um, yeah, so, it says, Happy shall he be that reward of thee as thou hast served us. How did Edom serve, uh, uh, serve Jerusalem? All right? Put us in slavery. Put us through bullshit. So guess what? We got to repay them like they, hey, like they did us, man. So when did the, the Israelites repay Edom? When? All right? As a nation, when did they repay Edom? All right? Hold on. Let me go further into this. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashes thy little ones against the stones. When did that happen in Edomite uh, history, man? All right? When is that? That has not happened yet. That's a prophecy that, that has not happened yet, man. All right? See, this is going to play a role in what? The Isaiah 14 kicks in about um, uh, uh, the, uh, the children. Uh, how do it go, man? Prepare uh, judgments uh, for the iniquity of the children's fathers, uh, I believe. Roughly paraphrasing. I butchered it. But you, you brothers know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, that's when that's going to kick in, man. When we're going to get our vengeance, man. Where Ezekiel, well, I'm going to read it. Ezekiel 25, when I get there. All right? It says he's going to lay his vengeance uh, uh, upon Edom by the hands of his people, man. All right? But let me go to the next scripture. It's Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that coming from Edom? By the way, <laughs> this is the breakdown to uh, Isaiah 47 and 3. All right, I should not meet thee as a god. That's just a side note. But nonetheless, who is this that coming from Edom? Now, where is Edom today, man? All right, because this, this didn't happen yet. This has not happened yet. This is talking about Yahweh Shai coming from a place that they call Edom, which is synonymous with Babylon, as I just read in Psalms the 137th chapter, right? All right, so who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments of Basra? <laughs> 
this that is glorious in this apparel. Uh, apparel. How is Yahweh Shai supposed to uh, be returning? All right? With the clouds of heaven. All right? The so-called UFOs, which are really the chariots of Israel. All right? So he's going to come with that glorious apparel, man. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. The angels of the Lord are thousands upon thousands. All right? Flying upon the, the wings of the wind. And I roughly paraphrase that one, too. All right? This is what it's talking about. This is the curse that goes over the whole face of the earth. It's talking about them chariots. All right? But it's coming from a place with dyed garments of Basra. All right? Because all the bloodshed and death that this one man is going to cause. All right? I that speaketh in righteousness mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thy uh, apparel? And thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat. Pfft. Who is that talking about, man? Okay. To, uh, to you, you, you Babylonian Christians. All right. Who is this talking about, man? Okay. Then says, I have trodden the wine place alone, and the people there was none with me. For I trained them in my anger, I trampled them in my fury, and their blood should be sprinkled upon my garments. And I will stain all my raiment, for the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. When is that? Has that has that, has that happened yet? Did the Israelites get redeemed yet? All right. Did the day of vengeance happen yet? No. So explain that. All right, you Christians. All right. Um. Let me grab this next scripture. All right, this is Isaiah 34 and 6. The sword of Yahweh is filled with blood. <laughs> it is made, uh, made uh, fat with fatness and the blood of lambs and goats. All right? With the fat of the kidney of rams. For Yahweh have a sacrifice in Basra. Hey, you get the same idea, Isaiah the 63rd chapter. All right? And a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. Now, Idumia is what? The Greek way to, uh, of saying Edom. So once again, Edom, Basra, even Babylon is synonymous with this, man. So has this happened yet? This great slaughter in the land of Idumia? All right. I said blood of lambs and goats. Who does the lambs represent? Israelites. What about the goats? Esau. So a lot of you Israelites are going to die over here in America, man. You two-thirds. All right. Hey, you're going to get the judgment of Esau, too. All right. So when did this happen, you Christian uh, uh, Jesus juice drinkers? When? All right. Wait, there's more for you. Ezekiel 25 and 14. I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hands of my people Israel. Give me the history, uh, historic date and time, man. When did this happen, man? And they should do to Edom according to my anger. Oh, so when did Israel put Edom back into slavery? When? When did when did Revelations thirteen and ten happen then? For that for uh, for that matter, because it says we're going to reward her uh, double. It says we're going to reward uh, serve her, uh, her as she has served us, which means we got to put them in slavery. So when did that happen? That has not happened yet, man. All right, who led, who led us into captivity? Esau, okay? It says, uh, and they should do to do and eat them according to my anger and according to my fury. And they, <laughs> and they should know my vengeance, say if you're with thy power, man. Hey, you guys gonna know that vengeance, man. All right, when Yahweh Bashim Yahushai gives us the, them spiritual powers, and when the chariots and angels come, hey, it's going to be hell for this earth, man. I'm just going to say that. It's going to be hell for this place, man. For all the shit y'all put us through. All right? Especially the elect, man. Um, let me jump back into it. All right, so this is Jeremiah 49 and 17. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished, and shall hiss at the plagues thereof. 
Ooh, hold on. Let's read this again. Also, Edom should be a desolation. Damn. Didn't it something to say Babylon should be a desolation? Sounds, okay, okay I'm going to keep on going. And this is an inside joke, by the way. All right. Everyone that goes by it should be astonished. Damn. Isn't it the scripture that says everyone that goes by Babylon should be astonished? Hmm. Okay. And shall hiss at the plagues thereof. Damn. Didn't it say the people's going to hiss at the plagues of Babylon? Damn. Is Edom and Babylon syn synonymous? Hmm. Talking about the same thing. But let's dig back into it. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities thereof. Damn. How did Sodom and Gomorrah go down by? Heavenly fire, man. Fire royale. <laughs> All right. So did when did Edom go down in that fashion? Question number two: When did Babylon go down for that uh, uh, in that manner, man? Man, uh, everybody getting cut, man. All right. Say if Yahweh, no man shall buy it there, neither shall son, uh, neither shall the son of man dwell in it, man. So, g g guess what, man? Is, is Edom like that today? No. Has that happened to Edom in the, uh, history? No. This hasn't happened yet. Has this happened to Babylon yet? No. Did Babylon go down like Sodom and Gomorrah? No, man. So, hey, you, you Christians, vocab alone, all, all you guys, man, whatever the hell your name is, Dr. Jenkins, uh, whatever, man. Whatever you guys want to call yourselves, man. All right? I'm just calling you guys enemies of the cross, man. This is exactly what y'all is. Y'all got a lot of explaining to do. So explain all these scriptures I just brought out, all right? And tell me what they mean. Doesn't matter because you can't tell me what they mean. I already know what they mean through the spirit of your how about you shot, man. All right? So with that, I pray that this was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Shalom. Hey, Abad Babal, and death to you two thirds, and death to you false prophets. All right? Hey, may death, destruction. Hey, Abad uh, Adawamna, man. All right? And that's for you, Edom. All right? With that, shalom, man, to the elect.